Today I'm announcing that we're adding dozens of names to the list, including one of Russia's wealthiest billionaires. Speaking during a meeting with his cabinet, President Biden says he's working with NATO allies to try and squeeze President Vladimir Putin's most important supporters, Russian oligarchs. Some own luxury real estate here in the city. Expensive townhomes, penthouses, etc., uh, which, by the way, are often filled with uh, very expensive art collections and safes filled with jewels all uh, a way to shield assets. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine was among those elected officials calling for President Biden to expand the sanctions list so federal and local authorities could freeze hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of dollars worth of assets stashed in the United States. But half a world away. All-out bombardment of Ukraine's largest cities marked the start of a second week of Russia's invasion. The ground assault has largely stalled, according to American defense officials, but the battering of cities by air is taking a toll, with already about a million refugees rushing to Ukraine's western borders and claiming thousands of innocent lives on the ground. Most civilian casualties were caused by the use of heavy artillery, multi-launch rocket systems and airstrikes in populated areas. And the war is impacting both sides, with Russia finally acknowledging hundreds of casualties. Officials for Ukraine and Russia have agreed to create humanitarian corridors for relief. But negotiations to end the violence have thus far been unsuccessful. Ukraine is refusing to commit to permanently disarm, and Russia is refusing to back down from a war that has earned condemnation around the world. We're going to continue to support Ukrainian people with direct assistance. You may be asking yourself, are the oligarchs even in the United States on a regular basis? We spoke with a nearby restaurant that told us they frequently see these wealthy Russian individuals come by for dinner. Live on the Upper East Side, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.